Well, everybody. Hey, um, I got another sewing machine. I just got done refurbishing. Uh, yes, this one is for sale. It is a brother. It's a really simple brother. It is an VX-810. And it's really simple. I mean, if you want a simple sewing machine to learn how to sew, this is the one for you. It doesn't come with a manual, but that's okay. It's very simple. There's no way you can mess this one up as easy. I mean, technically, if I get back to take uh, making people take classes, or maybe I'll do a few classes online, I don't know. I haven't got that far in my thinking. Um, this one is kind of has a, a covering here. It's a case covering. It goes all the way around. It's sitting right here. And the way this one works is it has these little doodads here that slide in right in there okay and then it wraps around and then it has these snaps on the other side see the little like snap right there and has a tab so all you do is pull on the tab and it untaps itself and then you could set it aside it keeps this whole area here dust free so you don't get so much dust build up inside your machine in a way that's kind of nice you can put it away without it being messed with like small children playing with your knobs or whatever that can be put away and, you know, they wouldn't be messing with it. They don't notice it as much. Anyway, let's go over on talking about each part. Okay, this is your tension, okay? You don't really want to move that unless your needle is in the highest position. The foot can be down or up. I'd rather have it down when I get ready to move it, but the needle needs to be in the highest position so it doesn't mess it up, okay? I always think if the needle stays high, you won't have a problem with this. Um, this is your stitch indicator and it can do, um, or your width, I call, sometimes they call it a width. I think it says right there, stitch width. So you can, um, do straight stitch at zero. You can do a slightly wiggly line to all the way to a really nice big, um, stitching for your zigzag. Um, yeah, I have it on middle. You can put it to the left or you can put it to the uh, right, but there's the center. I got it. I think I could see it's got on. It's in the center. Oh, dang. And I put that needle down again. Let's move that thing back up so everybody can see. All right, there you go. And then over here is, this is the little selector of your length, which is this section right here is your length. This is your reverse and it backs up and see, I can show you, you can see it backing up. And uh, I have it set for three, which is this one here for basic stitching, okay? Um, when you're getting ready to, to fill a bobbin up, okay, there is a little plastic um, insert that goes right there, which is in this little drawer here. I'll show you the little drawer so you can see what's in the drawer. Um, it's right here, and the little plastic thing is sitting right in there. This one's got a lot of little fun things. I'm going to still add more to it. I just haven't done it yet. I will probably put more in there and add more stuff so people can see and everything that goes in there anyway let's go on and then you would take unscrew this a little bit and then you turn this this way but you don't want to unscrew that screw let's see get over there you don't want to unscrew that screw all the way you lose that that's like a four dollar and 98 cent screw so you don't want to un unscrew it all the way just enough that it un unhooks that and then you when you're ready to go tight you tighten it back and then you re-screw it back in then then you want to put your spindle here and you run your thread, you know, going this way and back to your bobbin. And then you push the bobbin over to fill it over, fill it up. And then you can adjust this if you don't want it too full or you want it really full. And then this is your thread that comes this way. And I'll show you how to thread it real quick. You want to make sure your thread always goes to the back, come this way, and you hook it to this little, little hooky thing right there. Bring the thread down this way. Make sure... Your foot is in the highest position. Put it in the highest position right there. So that way the chambers of your tension will open up. And then you want to come down through here. And then that way it'll go into the chambers. It'll get loose in there and gets into the chambers, come up. And then this usually sits way up here. So let me get it, put it way back up there where it belongs. Right there it goes. And then you want to come around this way. And you want to make sure that goes into a little, little hole there. And comes back down right here and into this little hook area into this little hook area and down into the needle okay it's pretty easy i mean this is your pressure for your foot to push down the foot you know to make it pressurize make sure you put that down and uh so you want to put the foot you know right now i have it like mediocre for cotton cotton actually is right here but i have it you know down a little bit because this is really stiff cotton 
And to turn on your machine, it's right here. You push this little button, it turns on the machine. See, there's a nice little light. And I'm trying to think of anything else I'm missing. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a bottom feed. And you slide this little guy off. Your, you know, it's be able to do your sleeves and your pant legs. And there's your bottom feed right there. Close that back up. Let's so get this back on without messing up everything. Like this in here, like that. There you go. And then, you know, I think mostly, I think I've got everything pretty well caught up. Oh, yeah, when I cleaned this machine, I found a bunch of broken needles, a bunch of thread wrapped around it in different places, and a bunch of dust bunnies, a little piece of, little piece of look like uh, ribbon or a piece of material. Um, but other than that, we cleaned up real well. Yeah, I'm going to sell the sewing machine. I can't wait to see who gets it, you know, because I love watching people get excited about sewing machine. This is a refurbished sewing machine. Um, a lot of people say, well, you know, I buy a reconditioned sewing machine. Well, it's the same thing. Re refurbished sewing machine is a conditioned uh, sewing machine. A sewing machine's been conditioned. In other words, somebody has broken the sewing machine, sent it back to Brother or Singer or whoever makes their sewing machines. And what they do is they refurbish them or recondition them and they resell them. Now, a lot of places like Walmart and... Um, um, a couple of places online that do it, um, and a couple other, I don't remember them all now. Um, but they do sell refurbished sewing machines. I bought a sewing machine from Walmart that it was a computerized sewing machine and it says reconditioned and it was 15 years old. So don't always say, oh, they're brand spanking new. They're not brand spanking new. Reconditioned doesn't mean brand new. It means that they re-got the machine up and running again. And that's what I do, Okay. Um, so let's go on and this is the, um, what it sounds like. It's really, it sounds like a brand new sewing machine. You just be amazed. Here we go. Like that. And we turn it again, make it elongated so everybody can see like that. You can put it in reverse by pushing the little button in and it will reverse, push it back out and it's reversing, goes forward again. See how much quieter that is? That's just like if you buy it brand new in a store, but, uh, you know, maybe in the beginning they had sold the sewing machine originally, maybe for maybe about $299, but now when it's being refurbished, you don't get as much as out of them as you can because, you know, they're not like brand new off the factory floor, okay? They're refurbished or reconditioned. So, um, but uh, I do sell them. Some people think I'm too expensive, but, you know, I'd rather sell a sewing machine that works than buy a sewing machine for $30 that barely works and has all kinds of problems. Um, but I, I think sewing machines that, you know, work almost like brand new. And I have this little warranty that if you, you know, muck up the sewing machine in some way, like get the tension all out, out of sorts or keep breaking needles and don't know why, maybe because you're putting the needle in wrong and I have to show it to you. I give you a 30 day of help. What you do is whenever you have a problem and you're going crazy, you have that 30 days to come back, no charge. And you get to have my expertise to teach you something new about the sewing machine you didn't know about. So um, I love to give everybody a good sewing machine that they can run, that you know you can do a lot more fun stuff with it. Anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. Keep following me. Get the numbers up there. Keep sharing my videos and liking the videos give me some thumbs up uh hit the ring the bell maybe you'll get to see a new new one show up again and have a blessed day talk to you later bye